After losing 436 games in a row and deranking to bronze, I decided to coach my subscribers on Twitch on the easiest way to get out of bronze. Let's see what agents we got on Breeze, because a few you need to have, and uh, Omen isn't one of them. Okay, we have a Sage. I feel like you shouldn't pick Sage unless it's one of the last picks and you have everything you need, because there's no, there's no guarantee that everybody else is gonna, you know, play something important. And Omen is definitely not somebody you wanna play on Breeze. It's, you always wanna play Viper on Breeze. Raze on Breeze is terrible. Don't pick Raze on Breeze. Don't pick Omen on Breeze. Breeze is a very open map, so you need a wall and Viper is the only one with a wall. Shoot the drone for my teammate because he's close, right? So I try to ensure that the drone doesn't see him to help him out there. And because I have a ghost, I can spam through the wall and not get shot back. Okay, they're out already. Open it. I'm gonna go yellow just so I can focus this guy halls. And I whiffed because I don't want to try too hard, guys. That's why. Bricks. Bricks. Last bricks. Enemy remaining. Last player standing. Nice. See, we had absolutely no comms there. I don't know if anybody's duoed or trioed, but. Uh, we definitely need comms there, especially to tell people that Reyna was up around the rail in the box and that there was bricks. I was the only one comming that, even though we have at least two people with mics. So even if you don't want to comm, if you want to win, you definitely should be comming. We have nobody watching mid. Five planted. Okay, not a single comm that they were on B or planting on B. And so I'm going to be late now and there's going to be probably another seven seconds off the clock on bomb that I'm not going to be able to help them with. That's why comic to your team, even if your duo or trio is so important. I'm going to throw this dart try to scan all of that back. Got both. I'm going to do some b-hop stuff to get around here. One bullet and a dream. Yeah, make sure to dart not too early because if I darted earlier, it would have been when my team isn't pushing on site and they would have been able to shoot the dart earlier. But whereas when my team is pinching them from B main and from wall, it's in chaos and they're not gonna be able to shoot the dart and shoot my teammates at the same time. So you're gonna have to choose one. And they choose shooting my teammates and thus gave us info on where they were. Because I have a marshal from second round, I'm gonna play around it and go to a spot on the map where I have an advantage, which falls is one of those. And this is a very good dart that gets them when they're coming out of the main. Should just try to go around there and because I'll have to turn all the way around to shoot it. In the meantime, I can tell you about today's sponsor, thesenuts.com. No, but seriously, please subscribe. I need to make money. I'm gonna starve. Where did I go? Both back side. Last player standing. One enemy remaining. Very nice. See, when I was coming to push him back site, I ran on this half wall, so he can't hear specifically if I'm going down here or down there. And when I'm up here, he literally can't tell where I'm going. When I jump, I'm in the air and I make no noise. So he didn't know where I was going. As you could see, he was looking towards here. Cause I know he's not gonna peek me because like I'm running straight here. So he, it's not a distinct like on this wall or pushing on site, he can't hear the metal on site. So he doesn't know where I am. So he's gonna sit back and wait for me to peek somewhere. And then when I strafe jump, I could literally jump over here or back here in the same amount of time. So he can't, even if he knew I was on the wall, he wouldn't be able to predict where I'm going. And so it's, it's a gamble on both of our parts, whether he's holding my side and for him, whether I jump to his side. Here, I'm going to try to peek before he gets the full heal off. And he did get the full heal off and he's better than me. Sean's girlfriend. Sean, you've got a good one. Using your, your free ability early in the round if you're an initiator is very good because you just get free info. And here I'm just starting bottom of mid to see if there's anybody there. Uh, there's not, but they're gonna come out and be main and I'm just gonna dart this when I think they're coming out. And they're out now. I'm gonna sit here and play for my ult. B. 
one enemy remaining. Last enemy taken out. Are you smurfing, Neon? No, Neon's just broken and fun. Uh, I feel like you're too good, dude. Every Neon I see in this rank not. is like, like really bad. Just sprint around, shoot heads. I'm out of here. Oh, fair enough. You're the man. As an initiator, you should only use your, your intel stuff like your Sova Dart, Sova Drone, your Fade Eye, your Sky Dog, and your, uh, who's the other initiator? Your KO Knife and stuff. Only use those when your team is about to pinch sight or push sight. You don't want to throw them just all willy-nilly and just waste your util because your team can benefit from a greed like they did there. Like if I threw a dart right here into... If I threw a dart like this... Uh, it's not gonna do anything because I raised it alone and I'm not helping you. So with doors? Yeah, she's bricks. You got that. Last player standing. I should have let her win that. I feel bad. I'm gonna try to dart and uh, walk down into here, right here to show how you can uh, sort of distract enemies, especially in lower ranks where they're not gonna be paying attention. I'm just gonna lob kind of like a soft dart that's gonna take them a while to shoot it, and then I'm gonna walk down. Didn't work. Oh. Not gonna lie, that had no merit to it, and I was just trying to see if I could do something. I also wanted to make it more fair, I feel bad. Do, do they clear him? I think he just sits there and doesn't peek and he waits. Not, not a bad show. One enemy remaining. Nice try. Nice try. This is once again a terrible dart. It literally gets nothing sight. I'll show you one on, on attack. Here, you can also do this. I stream every episode live on my Twitch as well as uploading them to YouTube. Make sure you follow and subscribe to ensure you don't miss an episode. Enjoy. Take flight. After I after I use my drone, or after anybody, if you're so after you use your drone, you do not want to cancel it instantly. That's gonna limit how much like info you can gather from it. Show you guys a dart that lands backside. Coming to this corner right here. This leaf right here, and come up to uh, this one. This this like line. Half a little bit over one right there. And then like and subscribe, and then you want to click. Some of these doors, I think. You can ping this if you want to peek. And then if he's if he's there, Sage gonna get a huge. You'll get him. I mean, Sage is real close. I'm just gonna dart on that side. Thank you. Sage is obviously close. I guess she's not. Because she's not, I'm gonna drown. Okay, these are terrible smokes. If you were if you were to play Omen, which I actually have on this map before, because I absolutely hate, because I hate playing Viper on this map, One enemy is you can smoke here and here, and it's actually half decent. But it really depends on your team and how they play on pushing out. But I would highly recommend, especially in this rank, like playing what you like. Although you should try to figure out how to like players or uh, agents that are like necessary on certain maps like you should learn how to play viper on this map somewhat look at him look at him i believe in you oh. i hit soba 80 i mean reina's mid <laughs> yeah they're gonna be to your right you got this one one enemy remaining you don't hear that i guess soba uh soba can hear it because i was drone nice uh ggs attackers win